This is a great projector if you can find it. It's the Kodak Supermatic 30, uh, sometimes called a movie deck um, informally. And it's odd in many ways, but great in many other ways. It fits a 400 foot reel on flat on the top, not like the Mickey Mouse ears you're used to on normal projectors. And it also has a lot of very easy things to do that make it fast for looking at a home movie collection in which there's a lot of 8 or Super 8 where you have to change things. The first change is here and it's written actually embossed into the plastic place reel with film perforations up which means in this position if you can see the perfs up and that's for proper threading. But more importantly on the other side of this it says spindle meaning this part Super 8 up, regular 8 down. You see how there's three things to take the big reel center of Super 8. And when you want to convert to 8, you just pull this little lever here and push it down, and it stays down, and it'll take an 8 millimeter roll, which is a smaller center of the reel. Pop it back up to Super 8. So that's a great, great feature. It's also got uh, the ability to do the frame rate variably below 18 frames, which is good for old 8mm. Um, and you can change that lamp high and low. And another really cool feature of this is two ways to look at it. One is projected out the side on a screen, and the other is on a handy dandy desktop little screen about the size of a picture postcard. Very bright, very great. You can even look at it on your desktop in daylight. So that's a cool feature. All right, uh, film has got the perforations up as directed. And before I start threading it, I'm going to go to the side, which opens up, and there's a little clipper for the leader. And you have to turn it up and seat it on one little sprocket guide. I think that's called and do snip and the short of that is that rounded edge works in some projectors but in this projector it wants a completely straight cut. This has lots of handy available directions top and bottom to tell you what you're doing. You also have a framer here for Super 8, Soup 8 and then a quick knob push it that way it says Reg 8 for 8 millimeter. This is really easy changing of framing for the two compared to taking out a lot of sprockets with the other kinds of equipment. Um, this is a capstan uh, mechanism for forwarding the film, so it's very gentle on torn sprocket holes. Um, there are no sprockets in here, and it's uh, very good. You can clean the entire film path. You just have to work at it. It takes a little while. Don't leave it until five minutes before everybody's going to show up for the screening. I'm following this into the path as indicated. The sprockets coming up, and I end up right in line with the way the sprockets are on this design, this graphic here that they've supplied for you. And now I'm going to thread it down in here. So first thing I'm going to turn this lever to run thread. This machine has an internal, has an internal, hello, we are in run mode, oh there it is, has an internal take up reel underneath, 400 feet long, it can only take, one of its few limitations is it can only take the 400 foot reel. One of the nice things about this projector is if there's a problem with a sprocket hole or a break in the film, it will stop itself and rewind instantly. Or if you've got the wrong film in and you want to go back and stop, all you do is put a little pressure on the reel and it goes right back through and releases itself like that, which I think is a major development. So. Now I'm going to show you how to clean it. Also has sound, also had in its day the ability to record sound, which was useful to somebody. I never used that function. But. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of begin to take it apart. You can see in here it's got a couple of handy dandy features like a 
back up a bulb should you blow a bulb very cool um, it's also got a way of taking this slider out altogether by pressing the little outside lens over and holding it all down and then it slides and you can lubricate this slide with my lubricant of choice and my cleaner of choice which is lemon pledge furniture polished carnauba wax this is the stuff and what I do instead of you'd never never spray anything into the projector like this but I spray it onto a little cup or a cloth and I take my q-tips and I di dip it in it and then I start to go to work on everything from the spindle to you can see there's some wear on the table here that holds the reel and then I'm going to work on here I'm going to work on here which is how you rewind the film later on I'm going to go in here all these places are little plastic edges where the film is going to hit. You see that just by spinning this I'm getting some grunge. The, the minute I see grunge on my q-tip I go to the other end. I should call this a cotton swab. And I've put a little lemon pledge on a pipe cleaner because you can't get the swab down this. And this goes directly into where the gate is in front of the lamp and just gently back and forth in here and then I change framing to the other side the regular 8 which is a smaller frame around the image and I try and do that too and then I put it back to Super 8 since that's what I'm projecting tonight then you fold up your screen and this is a brute so you have to kind of stand over it to turn it upside down and clean it inside for this you need a quarter, I think a nickel would work too, to release it. The secret compartment underneath, which was, would release a minute ago, but of course it won't release now. <laughs> there. This whole side comes off, and this is another handy dandy Kodak set of dimensions of what to do if things are not working well. Film is damaged, do this, projector set for wrong film type, perfs are torn. All very visually done. Now you're in to where the underneath of the projector where the take up 400 foot take up reel lies and this comes off squeezing this little uh, feeler in here to release the hinge and then I help it off like that and you can clean you can actually clean in here all these places that film are going to go and make sure it's happy and clean. I even clean this part that's going to go over. I always clean spindles and things. They tend to be greasy, so I clean them last before I throw my swab away. And I also clean every place there's going to be any machine touching, moving, moving part touching moving part. I figure it's going to be happier doing this now little dot more of the carnauba wax on this. This is a hinge into the film path that lifts this part up altogether. And you can see here the film turns and then it goes around a corner. And likewise in here, same thing. All these all these paths that you can see, especially if I do it left handedly. I just try and get as much carnauba wax as possible on all the little moving parts. Now again, this pipe cleaner can go in here and get some secret moving parts. I'm not convinced I get every single inch of where the film travels, but I try and spread enough carnauba wax around that as the film travels it'll pick up the dust and get it out of there. Then I'm going to put this back in place with a snap and put this back in place with a snap and releasing it down to lock with this little lever that they built in and put it back together so that we can turn it back over and project with it. Now it's locked. It is heavy like a tank. I should turn on this side and show you here. 
that when you have film in the take-up reel and it's completely fed through, it's no longer attached to the top uh, reel, you can take the end which will hang out here and pull it up this pathway directly onto the top reel. It would come out of here and up this pathway. And then you'd re-secure it to the inside of the top reel and flip, flip this lever into rewind and it would rewind extremely fast. It's one of the great advantages of working with this projector. Um, this projector is the gentlest on old film. It's the quickest to turn between Super 8 and Regular 8. And um, it's really a workhorse. The only handicap is it can't take larger than 400 foot reels. And it is heavy.